Hello everyone and welcome to the Lathrom channel. In our videos we cover filming tips, tricks and techniques, equipment and product reviews, and many other things that will help you in the world of filmmaking and photography. Check out our videos and don't forget to subscribe. What's up everybody, Matt from Lathrom here. Welcome back to the channel, glad you can tune in. Today, you know, it's kind of one of those things that you know, it's, I don't know if it's really evident to some of you guys or not. I don't know. We do read your comments. We do read everything that comes in, whether we not have an answer or an opinion on it or not. This is one of those cases where I found out that I have a strong opinion and I can't agree with, more with some of you guys. All these little things uh, showing up on the screen here. Yeah, that's comments where you kind of called out in some capacity or another. You know, whether it be the forums or in, you know, the YouTube page itself, you brought up Houdini. Now, I've never really used Houdini up to this point, and I have to say, kind of makes me sad. I, I didn't realize what all I was missing, especially from a standpoint of being free for non-commercial use. That's right, I said this is all free for non-commercial use makes it a hell of a lot better than a lot of the programs out there that cost you some moolah so let's kind of get started here i just have a basic you know simple uh i think this is wet sand let's show this to you right here oh yeah that looks cool had something to have or i had to put something on the screen anywho the layout is actually not too dissimilar from maya at least that's my opinion the way the shelving system is set up and all that other good jazz I mean, you have, you know, your shelves up here. You also have your manipulators on the left-hand side, you know, such as move, rotate, scale, you know, your actual gizmo, some of your snapping uh, settings. Oh, inspect. Hmm, I'll check that out later, too. Uh, but you also have, uh, you know, your create, modify, model, polygon, deform, you know, your texture, rigging, character, animation, hair, grooming, cloud effects, and volume. Uh, tabs up here and also on the right hand side on the top shelf you also have your lights cameras particles grades rigid bodies particle fluids viscous fluids ocean effects fluid containers populate containers container tools pyro effects cloth solid wires clouds crowds and drive simulation a lot of that right there is not something that you get straight out of the box with just any old 3d platform now, bear with me here. I know somebody's calling me out and saying that I'm wrong. I understand plugins are always a possibility, and that's fine and dandy. However, you know, some of the stuff that you're looking at, particles or, or some kind of simulation, uh, whether it be, you know, particles or f fire or smoke or cloth or what have you, it's not always the greatest in some of the other 3D programs or it's not available whatsoever. So you have to get into third-party plugins. Where this, it comes with it. This is straight from the website, which by the way, if you're interested in looking into more of this, you know, playing with it and all this other jazz, I'll put the link in the description below where you can download this for free. Like I said, the Houdini Apprentice, non-commercial, uh, you know, variant is absolutely free. You know, basically choose non-com in the installation process it doesn't bother you anymore if you wanted to get into commercial work then that's a different story there's money involved but if you just wanted to learn or you wanted to do stuff for like youtube or independent films what have you you don't have to worry about it then no money that's always good freezies but anyhow we'll get on with it uh even the way this is laid out over here, it's kind of somewhat like Maya. Uh, you have your basic manipulations or your transforms, uh, such as translate scales, rotates, pivots, you know, all that other good jazz over here. Uh, you also have your material render. So if you wanted to change any uh, render properties for that specific uh, no, uh, node um, object, you could do that as well. You also have a nice little miscellaneous tab, which I, onion skidding. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind as well. But anyhow, 
down below that you have normally it looks like this this is a node based uh, system if you're not completely comfortable with the nodes trust me I understand I was the same way when I first started trying to learn how to use nuke because that is completely node based it's not layer based uh, so I understand some of the trepidations or some of the uh, resistance involved and that's fine if you want they have a tree view that is just like 3ds max or Maya where you have a drop-down tree where you can basically move stuff around get everything figured out modify some of your stuff and all that other good jazz you also have your material tablet or material palette rather which I'm kind of hoping that I can look into this more find more presets or at least be able to input every or import every material that I've created thus far into this that would be awesome if I have to do it all from scratch again that's gonna suck but I probably still will do it and then you have your asset browser which you could like it says down here download free Houdini smart assets created by the community which is actually really cool as you could probably tell I haven't clicked on that yet but trust me I will uh, you also have your scene view, your animation editor, your render view, your composite view, motion effects view, and geometry spreadsheet, which is actually kind of BA now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know how much some of you guys might use it, but it is actually kind of nice to have. Render view, I mean, this is, this is also one of those other things that's kind of nice. As you could see, it's an IPR. Uh, I don't really know how many different choices they have as far as a render um, options go. I haven't dug too deep into it, but there are a couple things that I really, really like. Let me pause this real quick and I'll get into it. Sorry about that. I had to make sure where something was. Like I said, I haven't been using this for very long, so I'm still on the learning curve. Uh, if you, we come up here and we say, oh, okay, we have a render node, which render node do you wish? I mean, we have Mantra, which is what's going on down in here. Uh, we have the Mantra IPR, which I can modify if I wish. Uh, but we also have the Mantra PBR. We have RenderMan and RenderMan RIS. That's right. It comes with RenderMan. That's actually kind of cool. RenderMan, again, is free for non-com. You usually have to download it from Pixar's website and install it and all that other stuff. This comes with it. And then you also have what's called Alfred, which I haven't played with. I have no clue what to tell you what's going on with that. That'll be a later date. But again, kind of like a combination of Maya 3DS Max, when you open up your render information, you have a lot of different controls here. You have your output. You have your... Im or, uh, let's see, render to disk. You have... You know what frame you actually wish to do whether it's a single frame or it's an actual animation render with current uh, which object you're wanting to use you have all these different options here and right now this is on ray tracing we have multi or micro polygon rendering uh, micro polygon physically based rendering photon map and physically based rendering you can allow, you know, your, or enable or allow your depth of field and also motion, motion blur. All these different settings that you can fine tune to basically get better quality, such as your sampling, limits, shading, your, you know, your tile size of the render. I'm going to actually turn that down just a little bit. Uh, your dicing and your stats. You also have controls that you can manipulate over here as well. You know, whether you're using a natural resolution, what quality you're running, and all that other good jazz. So, like I'm telling yeah, you, I'm not going to sit here and toot my horn too much longer. I don't know how long this video is. It's probably a lot of long-winded, you know, blabbering right about now. But honestly, sit down. Go through download this program here if you're looking to get into 3d modeling and you're first starting or you're just starting out or you're trying to go a little bit further you want something that's free maybe you don't want to hop on board the good old subscriptions system that Autodesk is now using unfortunately which sucks 
makes it a little bit easier, but not, yeah, just we won't go there. But anyhow, if you're looking for something free that you can actually do quite a bit of work with, I have to say, all of you people that you know suggested Houdini, absolutely right. I, I like being brought into new software. I like playing with it, and I like when you know somebody basically brings that program to my attention where it's like really this is kind of badass i'm gonna have to you know basically work this into my workflow and think about kind of offsetting some of the stuff that i used to use i actually like that kind of stuff but that's about all i have like i said the download link is in the description below give it a look check it out all that other good stuff but that's all i have for now any questions concerns comments feel free to drop them in the comment box below We'll get back to, uh, back to them as soon as we can. And uh, that's about it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later.